Hey everyone, welcome to Spelunga with Scoops. Uh, I don't know, the webcam is yellow today because the lighting in this room is real weird. If I get really close, it turns to a normal color. And I suspect throughout the course of the hour, uh, it will probably, it'll probably go back. I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, one of the things we've been doing, and oh, I'm joined uh, by Max Temkin. He's doing real work. So Hello. Put a pipe in. Uh, as folks know, uh, instead of doing the daily challenge first, you know, I want to get a little, uh, get a little limber. Uh, so we do some Spelunky esports, um, which is uh, you just hold run and you just you speed run. You should always hold run. I can't. I, I can't do opinion. that. I can't do that. You gotta get used to it. I know. You're probably right. Uh, you know, Zach and Doug's do a lot of like no item, like no pickup speed runs. Okay. And they claim that that is how they got good at the game. It's just like they got real good at the whip, and they got they really learned like the physics and the, the jump distance and all that. That makes sense. Because that makes sense. You have no item. You have no tools. Uh, I've mostly been falling at spikes, but I have. When I started doing this earlier this week, I got further in one of my speed runs than my entire play last Friday. So, all right, Splunky Esports. Oh, that... Damn you. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, yeah, you got it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such a good plan. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that the bounce would take that long. All right, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'll be back when yeah, you're, yeah. you're dead in one minute. Yep, don't worry. You didn't even leave the room. Oh yeah, getting limber, getting limber. I didn't mean to collect that. What are you collecting gold for? Oh, terrible! Okay. Oops, yeah, I probably have to drop that off, don't I? Oh man, look at all these... Enemies trying to ruin man. Splunk Esports was going a lot better yesterday. Made it all the way to the jungle. Oh yeah, we'll take that dog. I got my uh, coffee beans in. Oh, okay. I'm starting to uh, roast coffee. Yeah, you guys, you have a really complicated method here that I've not seen yet, but oh, I'm I gotta looking. I got to teach you. I'm looking forward to seeing as someone that uh, it's gonna change. likes coffee but doesn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about its preparation. I know that you are the complete opposite of me. Uh, yeah, we got a uh, we got a couple of different like nice like pour over things at the office. Oh, all this treasure. Why am I grabbing it? Yeah, this is good because it train you are definitely gonna die when that snake hits. Oh my god. What was that? Nothing. What was that? You're fine. Um Yeah, it's another nice thing of speedruns is it teaches you to like not see the treasure, which is useful sometimes. Like sometimes you just need to get out of the level. Yeah. You, you don't even want to see the treasure. Yep. <clears throat> so with the the speedrunning, there's an achievement, right? Eight minutes? Like uh, beats me. I don't know. I believe it's eight minutes. I was watching the replay. I don't understand how that crate didn't blow up. I thought that the blue snakes, if they hit the crate with their... <sighs> yeah, whoever said arrow press in the chat, that's our jam at the office here. Come here, dog. No mercy. Wonder, maybe I ran into a glitch with that snake spit. People are pe people are per perplexed by that in the chat, which yeah. I agree with. Boom! Look at that. Two two. Yeah, this is actually going pretty well. I bet the uh, the caves in the jungle. Oh <laughs> damn! 
Without anything, though, seems uh, problematic. Oh, you can you can do it. It's hard to. The problem with Let's the ice caves. This would be crazy. The problem with the ice caves. Speed run. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with the ice caves is it's hard to like really master the level. Like you can't really like get around. You pretty much just go down. Yeah, I guess that's true. So All right, uh, let's do a real one. All right, so what are your? Well, let's talk for a second. What are your goals here? Because like I, I feel like you have, city of gold. Some very frustrated city of gold. That is like our ne that is All our right. next let me, uh, <clears throat> let me give you set some, of progress. Let me give you some advice here. I think you. I, I didn't see yesterday, but I think the day before I was very frustrated. You, uh -huh. you like left a, a jetpack in a in a shop, uh -huh. and you were holding the Matic, and you could have just gone and gotten some gems and bought the jetpack. Oh yeah, that does seem stupid. And then you, you walked right by the entrance to the black market too. That, it was yeah, pinging. that's pinging. So I think I, I think you're getting I think you're getting carried away. And uh, okay. my my advice today is when you get into like a like a real pickle, uh -huh. just hit the pause button. Okay. And cool down for a second. Okay. And think about what you think about your next move. That seems reasonable. That's uh, that's a little Greg that's a little Greg tip oh, that's really it. helped me out. I think you'll be okay. Um, Greg taught me that, and it's been it's been very helpful. That makes sense, because that is what happened. Like, had I thought about, uh, for example, uh, the bees in yes, yesterday's daily that's challenge, a great I think I think it might have been surmountable. Uh, like most people pointed out, Man, look at all these crates. This is a good scene. Um, that I could have just gone back up, used the mattock, and then just individually bopped on their heads and yep. slowly waited for them to float up. Yep. Um, yeah, if you just stood on top of that tree and calmly just just button mash the whip, you probably could have gotten rid yeah. of them too. Yeah. But man, when you've got nine bees running at oh, you, you, it's terrifying. You panic. Yeah, totally. Mm, no, I don't have anything around me. Just because the bees show up so infrequently, uh, at least in the amount of times that I have played, yeah, uh, I have not encountered them enough to become. Uh, comfortable with them, I guess. I also don't look down enough. I'm aware of that. Uh, this is not the daily people in the chat asking. No, 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 no. We'll do the daily after this. You want me to see how I get that uh, beta? So you get, so you have a, a so yeah, you have a, you have a new build of Spelunky that what has uh, a new pro HUD or something? That is correct. It it's has basically a, HUD. An, a, a like a more minimalist HUD, right? It's a like, HUD that I think is designed for streaming. Um, so I actually helped out a little bit with the design of the HUD. I just gave some feedback and and you know suggested. Right, what do you think here? What, what are we doing? Uh, we'll Everybody? definitely get the bomb crate. Oh, I can't. okay. Go get oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, there was not a lot the, of money. Can you afford the matic? No, you don't have the eye. Just get out. Well, you could rob the shop. How do you feel about that? A sure, bomb crate do... for a bomb crate and a matic. And, oh, it's an easy shop to rob too. Huh. I think do it. Okay, so you're gonna I, pick, I pick up the ice up, gun. Yep. and then I just shoot him. No, right? do not shoot him in there because you can't jump on top of him in that little nook. So pick it up. He's not gonna attack you. Pick it up. Now just walk back and draw him out into the middle of the room. Now don't leave the shop, just, there you go. Now turn around. So now you're gonna fire at him and then you're gonna very, you, he has like the, fa pause the game. What are you doing? Okay, Your ghost sorry, is gonna come. Okay. you're right. All right, so what's gonna happen is he has like the fastest breakout of the ice of any creature in the game as far as I know. So you have like just a one second, you gotta jump right on his head. Okay. So you're gonna fire the ice gun and jump on his head real quick. Okay. Nice and clean. Go, 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 nice. All right. So now, I'd probably take the shotgun or the, I don't know, what do you think, shotgun or matic? What do you like better? I don't use the matic that much, so I feel like, you know, I, you know, whatever this run is not that big of a deal. Like, I think okay. it's about learning lessons. So let's take the matic and maybe find some new uses for the matic. Okay, you're gonna want that gun though to deal with the shopkeepers. That's my Oh, that's, that's my true. Only, that's okay, you know concern. what, let's do that. You're right, you're right. I forgot that now we're gonna have angry shopkeepers for the rest of the yeah. Rest of and the and you gotta remember for the one on the bottom, it adds a shopkeeper to the bottom of every level. Yep. I think I've used the freeze gun tactic before. 
what people want to know why you need a lesson in robbing the shop because he's a good entertainer and he's humoring me so I can show him the thing with the ice cream that I think I've seen him do before. <laughs> I don't know. I could have been something else that I was missing. Never assume. Never assume. Oh, but now I got to go through this dark level with it. What's the double bomb to deal with the exit keeper? Is that you just huck two sticky bombs down and one of them falls down? Are you asking me? No, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm conversing with the chat. I'm like an eight minute delay. Oh, so you can I use the gun think. to create some light. There you oh. go. Oh. Yeah, nice. I didn't think about that. Bat wow, did you see, did you see the, the arrow just sailed over my head? Yeah. You're in complete control at all times. <clears throat> God. I don't think anything about this. I really I hope the people key's are not asking you why. The kill the bat. Why kill kill the shopkeeper in the mines? The reason is there. Oh boy. There's there's some items that are just. Oh. Oh. oh I think you got him. Oh damn! There's I have sticky bombs. Hey buddy. There's some items that are just too good. So like a crate of bombs. Actually, I'll, I'll usually kill the shopkeeper for a jetpack or for two bomb crates if I can't afford them. That's that's to me. That's when it's good enough. A jetpack or two bomb crates. Yeah, anything else I don't usually rob the shop.